President Bola Tunubu has directed the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited to sell crude to Dangote Refinery and other upcoming refineries in Naira. Well, the special advisor to the president on information and publicity, Bayo Nanuga, made this known in a post via his X handle on Monday, July 29. You'd recall that on July 18, Farouk Ahmed, chief executive officer of the Nigeria Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, said local refineries, including the Dangote Refinery, product inf uh, produce inferior products compared to the ones imported into the country. Now, Dangote denied that allegation by testing diesel from his refinery on July 20 when federal lawmakers visited the plant. He also said it is open for anyone to come check the quality of his diesel. Now, the billionaire who alleged international oil companies are not supplying crude oil to his refinery also called for a probe into the allegations that were made by the NMD PRA. Now, Dangote and the NAPCL have been in the news for some time. Nigerians who do not, who are not even interested in uh, crude oil refinery stories, have gotten involved and saying, "Do something about this, President Tinubu." What are your thoughts on this story? Okay, um, you know, the first time this issue came to my, um, should I say, to my attention when I read it on some other platforms, I realized that what Dangote might be facing has to do with what other persons in business may also have been going through. What that means is, you know, Dangote came into that sector. He wasn't operating in the You now become a threat to them, whether you like it or not, it's a business uh, uh, struggle. So the, the, the other persons probably might have also um, developed tactics to weaken that of Dango the community because... We're talking about the NNPCL here. Okay. So are you trying to say that they might have developed tactics to weaken his business? They also have their own reason why they, they maybe probably they weren't selling to him. They have their own reason. In fact, you also, uh, from what you read, if, if somebody was also accusing them of also producing uh, substandard, diesel. substandard diesel. And all these things get to us trying to um, demarket the, the, the coming of that of the Dangote's uh, um, side of the business. It, it's, not, it's not always something you should just give it out. So many persons have been in the business before you came in. Then if NMBC were not even supplying to him, they have their own reason. You could also be linked to part of the struggle that have been going on. We hear stories that after then we actually heard in the news that Dangote had to import crude oil. And you already know that when you look at Nigeria's economy, the mm. backbone, when you're talking about where we make most of our resources, you're looking at the crude oil. Yeah. And now we have a refinery here in Nigeria, which a lot of people thought that, oh, this is going to help our economy a great deal when they heard Dangote was going to start up a refinery. Mm. And now this refinery, or this, or, uh, yes, this refinery is buying these products that we have in here, outside. How does that, how does that even look, and how do you think that would even affect our economy? You're an economist. Yeah, first it tells you how bad the economy is. How bad. The economy is, you know, Dangoda is trying to make efforts to penetrate that market. It, it tells you how bad. That's for Dangote. You don't also know what others might have been going through. And that has even kept that particular sector backward. So if Dangote, at his level, rated the richest man in Africa with his fame, and then he's been, he's, he's been should I say, my hand or is going through this, how much more others who are of less fame? So it tells you how, how, how much corruption, should I say corruption, or battle that goes on in the petroleum sector. 
and then it it, it brings to your to to to, to our uh, knowledge on why that sector has not been doing well. If that could happen to a private uh, in, uh, firm, how much more that of government? So are you saying the NMPCL is part of the problem with the petrol? It could, it could be linked to anybody. It, 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 the, okay, when Dangode was crying out, what did the NMPs do? Did they just go and say, no, come, did they say, come and take it? it somebody, whether you like it, somebody, in fact, they are humans. It's not just because of the name NMP. There are humans in that um, sector, in that other aspect of it. So they may, some persons might also have felt being threatened. Anything could have happened. But the truth is that Dangote didn't find it easy the way he thought from outside. So if Dangote could not find it easy, how much more? The other market, that, the other persons in the business should come out to tell us what they are facing. Or what they are going through. If, if you listen to this, the report, um, it actually said that Tinubu has asked them to sell crude, not just to Dangote Refinery now, and all that. That has that was the presidential intervention. Even though they said like in Naira, okay, yeah. that's also part of the conversation. The but let's look at how this will get to affect us. Now, looking at Dangote saying that, oh, my my friends told me not to invest this in Nigeria, mm. and it's almost like the man's beginning to regret even setting this up here. And then later we heard in news that another president of Gabon now called him to come start up like for investment discussion. And that already is not looking nice for us in Nigeria because when people outside Nigeria look at what Dangote is facing and keep reading the news and checking up updates on this story. It's almost looking like investing in Nigeria is going to be a problem. This is Nigeria. And until we begin to change this narrative, how come the president did not intervene at the earlier stage? How come? That would have changed a lot of narratives. But why is he being, why is it that Nigeria is going through this, this kind of issue? You talked about how come this is coming to Nigeria, Dangode is coming, we work, the problem we are, pass, we are facing in this sector. So it's assumed that the, 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 the Dangode citing his refinery in Nigeria will now bring the whole solution we all have envisaged as a, as a people. But it's a business sector where Dangote has been in business. You should also understand that it, it is not all easy to just go out there, enter a place, and then dominate. Even if it's going to affect Nigerians, it's even going to affect those consumers. Let me use that word. Maybe probably not only Nigerians. It's also going to affect consumers. But there are implications to all this. I've always warned. We're all talking about Dangote refinery. What Dangote is going through just to be able to get petroleum products. We are talking about Dangote not even being able, in fact, being accused of several things and all that. How about that of government refinery? Why, we, why, why is nobody talking about what they are also going through? What they are going through? What they are going through. Probably they might have even faced worse than what Dangote refinery is facing. That's why, maybe, that's why all our refineries aren't working. So this should give us the picture of what is happening in that sector. If a private sector, if a private firm could be shouting in this angle, how much more that of government sector, that of government business, where less attention probably is being paid to. So it gives us the picture of why our refineries aren't functioning. The economic implication is, because, is, is that the, the, the price of petrol and the price of fuel keep rising. There is no competition. There is no competitiveness in that sector. That of government own is dead. That of Dangote own is, is being given the high. That, that competition you're talking about is another reason Nigerians were happy. Some Nigerians, you know, embrace the idea of Dangote wanting to start up a refinery here. Now it's almost sounding like it's just Dangote. Are you hearing any other person? And if you were allowed this to play out smoothly for him, even, let's be realistic. If it has also gone so easy and smooth for him, that is going to lead us into monopoly. And the economic implication is so huge. What do you mean? That what I mean by that is if you allow him to, if, if, if he takes it all, and then it, it, it drives us into monopoly in that angle where it's only one person in that business. 
It means he decides the price. He decides what to say. He decides whatever. But nobody, and then it, nobody is stopping. Do you think there are um, factors that are stopping other investors from coming into the If a factor, if, if particular, if a, a, somebody who is rated as no, the richest person in Africa is, is facing this, the other person who is rated as somebody who will go and collect loan from the bank, <laughs> what do you think will happen? You've even said it, it, it will just invite the fear. It will invite which fear in the person. Do you understand? So it shows that it, there is a lot of there are a lot of things going on in that sector, and that's why that sector is not bringing the level of output that is expected. But one would want to ask the big question: Why would you have um, a refinery in a, in a country that has that produces this product, crude oil, mm. and then you cannot access it? it? It's it beats my imagination, and it's what we really need to know why. Like you said, that the NPC probably, probably has their reasons of not wanting to sell to him. What could be those reasons? He's, he's left of not them. wanting to sell to him. He's left with them. He talks about the corruption we're in that at, sector. We're looking at the current state of the economy. And we're looking at how far this... How do you feel when you are selling something and somebody who is just in front of your house, in, on your land, is going to your neighbor's house to get these products that you're selling? You know, it's also bad. Knowing that you to, don't have money. To be sincere, it's bad. But again, the only reason they've given... Is that uh, Dangote is uh, bringing up uh, uh, what's it called? Um, is it substandard? Substandard, yeah, substandard. That's not even that's from the, the NNPCL. Only... Now that's from um, the NNDPR. Something exactly. Like now it took um, Dangote the, the 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 level at which he has to even go through the has the has a national assembly to show them that this is, this is what they said and it's not true. But they've not also come up to give us any other reason. What did Dangote do? What did he do? So Is it just happening from heaven? We are not supplying to Dangote. Somebody has taken that decision. Then convinces group of persons to take that decision. Let's make it difficult for him. Let's frustrate him. In fact, as connected as we could have uh, assumed that Dangote is, probably to the presidency or any other, and when he's, he's crying out over this whole issue. So now the president has made a statement concerning this. What, what do you think moving forward? Good presidential intervention. That's what the president should have done. That's even what the president should be doing. If Nigerians cry that maybe it not only end up with Dangote. If we cry out that the electricity sector is not producing, is not coming, is not giving the level of output that is expected, the president should intervene. If we also cry out that the, stand, uh, the standard of living has even gone bad and all that, he should intervene. We have been crying out about our refineries in Nigeria. Good, they've How even much told intervention us. have we seen? They've even told us that the Portaco refinery is we'll going be to be functional by, by this July. Today's date is what? August. Which August? Are they, are they pushing it again to August? They started from May. <laughs> even from this studio, we're analyzing where they say July. We're in July already. Okay. And nothing is happening. I know from the last reports that we saw, I think they said August... Or so, but but then, even though some months were mentioned, it was generally stated that before December. I would no, I will not. You are a journalist. I will not also agree. Not, I, I will not agree with that. Okay. In this studio, we read out where they say July. Before July, they gave us a, a month. Yeah, we were given months last year. Too. And now, you know, it's like this uh, vision 2020. When, when that didn't, uh, when we did achieve that, they say vision 2030. Later, you hear vision 2050. That's insincerity of government. That's, that's, in fact, why are we even considering it? It's the only Podago refinery we have. Why are we not talking about others? So it shows how bad the, the petroleum sector have gone. And that is even what gives us our national income. So how then do we increase our GDP? And then we are crying that the economy has gone bad. That's even what, what, that's even what makes up like In fact, that's where they, they share money from the whole states. Share money. So if, it, if that sector is not functioning properly, the sector where government makes huge amount of money isn't functioning properly. There are lots of lacuna in that sector. Then what do you expect of other sector? 
So we must have to start somewhere. And we should start from the crude oil sector. They should start from fixing. In fact, they should start from making that of potassium. In fact, they should start by standing by their word. Let that of potassium refinery start. Then let's go to worry. Then we'll not move over to Kadne. I'm not that. Why are we considering so much on Dangote and no Dangote? As if Nigeria does not even have refinery any longer. The last time we spoke here, we said we, we, we heard when the senior president made some statement about that of Dangote refinery. How come he didn't intervene at the time? Then how come he's not also intervening that they are failing on the months they are giving to Nigerians about the, fun the functionality of a, a Podako refinery? What's happening? Another question is a very big question, I, I believe, has been in the minds of a lot of Nigerians. Because how come we're not getting so much intervention regarding the months that have been mentioned and the deadlines that we are given that don't worry, by so, so, so time, by this month we'll have the refineries function. And why are we not having so much intervention to that regard when that month comes and then we don't see what we were promised? That's, that's the failure of government. I think the president and the, all his uh, cabinet have to work towards that they have to wake up but then um when when we were reading when, when we were discussing the report about the newest reports now about the um, Patakot refinery being functional and all that all that before december we the guest who i had in the studio then was of the opinion that the times when they had told us years before now that the Patakot refinery will be functional right that yeah. was another administration and now this is a different administration. And now Mele, even though it's still Mele Kari okay. who has been there and <laughs> making all these statements, which was my question at that time. But he said, since it's a different um, administration now, we should give them the benefit of doubt this time. What do you think? I don't even want to give the benefit of doubt any longer. You know, during uh, before Siva came in as Minister of State for Petroleum, the, 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 the government had given us time. In fact, to an essence, Eva was working so hard that we thought the Messiah was around then. And all of a sudden, it didn't work out. Not on, in fact, it, it went to an essence where the former president, President Muhammad Buhari, said we should trust him on that uh, sector. Because he was the then Minister of Petroleum also. And it, nothing worked out. And then the president came, this, this uh, president, um, uh, President well, Tinibu uh, came in and then said, his administration, we didn't force them, said, between now and, so, in fact, we are, giving you, we are giving you certain months, you're going to see, and you were specific, Port Harcourt refinery, he didn't say all the refineries, but we are talking about one refinery, one we say it's going to be producing. In fact, I got to a time they said, uh, the, the, uh, it's as if it's producing now. It's as if it's going to bring out its first product, so so and so time. 70% completion? Why make statements when you are not sure? So why do you think they're making statements if it's really not true that the refineries are not that complete? When they made a statement that they were going to give us, they reversed back to the old national anthem. They did take 24 hours. So why are you making statements and then you are not fulfilling it? The one that will benefit the masses. That's going to cost more. You can't compare it to national anthem change. Cost more? You were not sure? You were not, Cost more how? You have the Setting money? Setting up the refineries, you cannot compare the cost with changing the national anthem. Okay, let me ask you. Can you also tell us, are there times government have said this, we, we, we gave this month, but because of... Um, these and that challenges we were not able to meet up. We've not had that time. Did they, did they have they come? Even the July they didn't meet up. What, please, you're a journalist. What did they give us reason? <laughs> so we've not had that time. That, uh, Nigeria should begin to know why you didn't meet up. And we understand it. It's not you come and tell me it, it worked in May. May didn't work out. You came up with June. June didn't work. You said July. Now you're saying between now and December. After December, who knows another month? You know, okay, before the end of our administration, another, and we enter into another political era. Is our challenge the refinery is not coming up, or the fact that we're not being carried along and the explanations are not being given? All of them. The refineries aren't coming up, coming up, then the, 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 the masses are left in the dark. We don't even know why it's not coming up. There's this, there's this communication bridge. We don't even have the, why is it not coming up? 
Is it because the east-to-west road is bad? Is it because um, some hoodlums? Is it because somebody is stealing from there? The money that was even spent by the former administration, what happened to it? So the money could on not have rehabilitation. Attain. What happened to all the money that have been that that have been thrown into that? No, that's even another recommendation that some people are coming up with. Because time and time again, we keep hearing, "Oh, rehabilitation of this refinery. This amount of money was spent." on this refinery and, and at the end of the day we don't see we don't see the the project you know coming to light we don't see the refineries being functional so people are suggesting that instead of rehab we don't want any rehabilitation anymore the amount of money that you have used to rehabilitate these refineries if you put them all together we could have a new refinery so Niger, some Nigerians say, let's focus on building a new refinery than trying to make anything. I like, even disagree with. I, okay. No, I disagree let, with. I would yeah, how I disagree why? totally. Why you're talking about new refinery? The, how many? Have, how many do we have? How many do we have? Which one is working? No one is working. You're talking of new ones. How I don't understand. The government should go into building new refinery. When the ones you have, you, you can't even maintain it. So we should the government, everything about refinery. No, I think if the government want to be sincere, they will, they will fix it. If they, 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 they talked about fixing the vice president's uh, lodge. Uh, have they not done it? How many billion? If they tell they want to build that rock again, they will do it. Now, that's, by the way, the government should concentrate on this old refinery. They should fix it. If you don't want to fix it, give it out to private firm. All right. Thank Sell you. it off, possibly. Okay. Thank you so much for your thoughts on that one. Let's look at the next story now.